Young blood, welcome Hello. to New Zealand. Bro, I am very excited to be here. A little, really bit, little bit dusty. L oh, very dusty. You guys got me last night. You got, you came in out of nowhere and just started pouring whiskey down my throat. So I hear you had a bunch of fans show up. Kiwi that was fans, beautiful. To the bar you were at. That's the thing. It's like everyone's like, if your fans turn up and your family turn up, I'm like, yo, yeah. can I buy you a drink? I can't really be a can I? You know what I mean? I can't be like, no. I'm like, yeah, I'll have a whiskey for the 18th time. Anyway, well, you still showed up, and oh, I appreciate that. Absolutely, bro. I, I think that's the point. I might be still drunk right now. It's possible. It is very possible. Um. So, first time in New Zealand. First time in like virginity is well and truly taken. Wow. Hey, there's I'm something really I like to, to I like to do with um with people who aren't from here with their first time coming to New Zealand, and that's a little game where I get you to name the three things that come to mind that you associate with New Zealand. So, if you're thinking New Zealand, what I are the think first three things you think. A ru rugby team. Yeah. Tattoos. Everyone's, like, pretty tattered. Really? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like um, tribal tattoos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then Whitaker's chocolate. It's delicious. It is pretty good. Yeah. Tastes like a Kinder Bueno, but better. Um, now, we, we caught up a few years ago, I'm not sure if you remember, and you told me some great stories about the time you lived with uh, Lewis Capaldi. My, the good old Lewis, yeah. Yeah, so you guys were, like, coming up together so, and you yeah. flattered when neither of you were, like, successful musicians. So yet. basically what happened was my guitar player went to school with Lewis. They went to, like, literally primary school. With me and my guitar player and my drummer were living in this tiny flat, three of us in a two-bed flat. Adam was literally at a bed in the kitchen. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, But then Lewis would be down... I don't know, four times a week, do you think he was like coming from Scotland to right? So again. now like the things have changed so much since then. You guys obviously stay in touch. Oh but every time every time we're at a big award show or see each other, we always get real soppy. Yeah. About like the old like a real be really beautiful guy, you know. Mm. Like a real as a massive soul. So you obviously you've got very different music styles. You tend to stay in your lane a little bit with like the artists you collab with. So is there any chance of a Lewis? Young blood. We've always said that situation. when the time's right, you mm. know what I mean? I mm. think so. Yeah. I think like when, when the time's right. When you get into the love ballad era of the young Yeah, blood. or he wants to get a bit loud. Yeah. A bit naughty. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, hey, before we talk about your new album, yeah. um, you're a very talented person. You're not just a, a musician and a singer. You also have delved into acting. I have. Yeah, you did an episode of Emmerdale. Have you I got any, any interest in getting back on screen and doing acting? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, there's a big interest. It might even be happening. What's your... Really? What? 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 Are you joining the Marvel, okay, okay. Marvel Cinematic Universe? <laughs> no, I, was, I was literally just like, what? Um, I, yeah, as I say, there's a lot There's yeah. a lot of plans. What iconic character would you love to play? Oh, I'd love to do the Riddler. You know, really? Jim Carrey did the Riddler. Because I have an idea. Okay, right. I can yeah, tell you about my idea. Yeah, yeah tell me. Basically, I want to play a DC character. Okay. But in the style, like, the mask would do it. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, like, yeah. I want to play some mad psychotic um, villain, but one day he wakes up as a different person. So one day I'm, like, a French maid, and I'm just, like, ooh la la, and stuff like that, but completely crazy. And then the next day I'm, like, a nun, and then the day after that I'm, like, Scottish. Like, what's that movie, Split? Yeah, and they've got the split but like body. so yeah. stylized. I'm here for it. You know what I'm saying? So give the man the gig. DC man, hit me up. Give the man the gig. You know what I mean? Now your um, third album. Third album. It's coming out in September. It Congratulations. Is. You've um you've just titled this one Young Blood. Yeah. What's the reason behind that? Obviously, your first two albums. I had... think I think the, like this record really it's got me spirit as you would have me now in it. You know what I mean? I think like the first two records were really about finding a community where I could belong. Yeah. You know what I mean? I spent a lot of my life being like, is there anyone out there like me? Because I just feel completely isolated and completely alone, completely afraid. Is there anyone who feels like this? And I would tell the truth about situations or people I would meet in that moment. So I'd be like, this happened to me today, writing a song and then put it out the next week. Even if, even if I disagreed with myself a year later. But with this record, like, I finally found a place where I can genuinely be myself and genuinely feel protected to kind of really show my soul and my spirit as my mum would know me or as my best friend would know me or as a partner would know me. or You know yeah. what I mean? This is, like, so raw. And I think kind of, like, 
I called it Youngblood because all it, it started as a community and it got so much bigger. I call it a subculture because it is a subculture. You know what I mean? It started as a as a like if people don't know who I am, it's 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 a movement, man. You know what I mean? They've been sleeping outside already in Auckland and stuff like that. Like we do, they do. It's a movement, and it kind of bled into the mainstream. And when you kind of bleed into the mainstream, people just don't understand you from that part of the mainstream. So, like, I, I wrote music to be understood, got understood. Then the thing got so big, and then it was starting to get misunderstood again. So I feel like I'm writing my first album, and I'm kind of in love with the idea that people will misunderstand me for the rest of my life because now I'm being misunderstood. Yeah together with an army of people who love me and it's like i've got a fight i never want to become a rock star you know what i mean or unaccessible mm. i'm I'm here to kind of really tear up the rule book and scare people because i don't want it to be about the songs i want it to be about the feeling and the culture and the idea and 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 the songs go hand in hand with that. You know what I mean? I never want to be defined by one record. Yeah. If I got defined by one thing, it'd be the antithesis of what Youngwood actually means. You know what I mean? I would. I want to be here to dedicate my life, not just my career, to making people feel I can be who they are. You know what I mean? And that's what this album entails. I want to wrap it up right there. I think that's a, that's the perfect shot to uh, end on. Vibes. I think you're talking about that right there. It's the perfect shot to just go out. Yeah, I don't right. even need to say goodbye. That's fine. You've nailed it. Hey, thank oh, you so thank much you for coming in, man. man. I, I loved it. I appreciate honestly. you. I love it. Joe, give us your best Kiwi accent. Oh, fucking hell, mate. Wait, that's not Australian. Shit. It's like, I, w- I want to get a ticket to the mall to suck a dick. That's exactly it. Like <laughs> my, my dad right there. <laughs>